It is 2017. It's my situation definitely broken. I did not have even money, not even one pound. I did not have anywhere to sleep. I lost my job. No money for rent. Landlord sent me off. Got nowhere to go. I've got no people who wants to know me, wants to help me. It was about 1 a.m. I was so frightening. My decision finished my life. The homeless situation has been challenging for a while. I'd read um, a news article about Green Pastures and I wanted to do something in Bradford to solve homelessness. So I rang Green Pastures up and said, will you buy us a house? And they said, we'll buy you two. So Hope Housing, we're a small Christian charity based in Bradford. Essentially, we're dealing with the homelessness across our city. It is a complete disgrace that in the UK that people have to sleep out on the streets People need houses, they need support, they need care, and we try uh, to be able to respond to people's needs when they need it. Our role is to help move people on to the next stage. So when somebody's got nowhere to stay tonight, we just love to be able to meet that need today. So that might be moving them from the park bench into emergency accommodation, and then perhaps, you know, um, find more suitable accommodation. It is 2017, it's my situation, every night, sleeping park, one trousers, one shoes, one t-shirt, uh, this port, no jacket, this very cold, this fire, this out, definitely stop. I was homeless, I have nowhere to stay. Then I started walking to the hospital sleeping there on the, on the bench, there at BRI, so I was called by the doctor. I was given some instructions from BRI hospital there. I should ring the number I was given, and then he would pay for me there to sleep there at the hotel. So I slept there overnight, and then I was told in the morning I should come there, so he came and picked me up and brought me here. Two weeks I was living in the park, but uh, Hope housing, uh, get me some uh, uh, place for life, just uh, like flat. Housing people is sometimes just the start um, of people getting back on their feet and their journey. Things don't always happen overnight, sometimes it takes time. We like to do the full package, as it were, with somebody, so it's not a case of just putting them in a house. You know, there's 20,000 EU nationals in Bradford that still don't have their settled status. Somebody needs food parcels, the next stage we might help them to get sorted out with the, with the doctors, help them to get that vital medication that they've probably neglected for years, the bank account, English classes, get them back on their feet, help them with job clubs, just everything, even if it's just emotional talk, some people come to us for prayer, but ultimately it's the, it's the house and then everything else that comes there with it. Before Hope Housing helped me, I was not sure what I want from life, where I am, who I am, and what's going on around me. Before Hope Housing, I was just killing uh, time. All the substances you can imagine were involved. I knew that communicating with Hope Housing regarding what's going on in my life, maybe I will get some help from them. Helen is a good person. Helen is angel. Uh, alcoholism is a big problem. This Helen, my angel, is angus. This plan, Every day, one beer, down, down. Okay, every day is down. 2017, this stop. No drink, no beer, no alcohol, no nothing. Housing the homeless is an extremely rewarding job. Um, it's very beautiful to work and walk with people through the ups and downs of their lives. It's vital that the church, and in fact everybody, uh, takes up the mantra to solving homeless. Hope housing uh, get for people uh, time for restart. You see, I like fishing. They buy me a fishing license, maybe for six months. Step by step, I back to normal life. Doing better than before. At least I can start 
uh, everything from blank page. I know what I'm doing, who I am, and uh, that I've got some people who always cover me and always ready to help. Thanks to Hope Housing. It's me every day. Very big thank you. Thank you, God. Hope Housing get chance for everyone.